Eight cars that surprised us with a manual gearbox option. You'd think that this amazing list of cars would only have been available with automatic gearboxes, but each one had a manual option that very few people decided to go for. And here they are. Aston Martin DB9. It would be unthinkable to offer a luxury Grand Tourer like the DB9 with anything other than an automatic gearbox these days, but once upon a time, Aston Martin's gorgeous DB7 successor was indeed sold with a manual box. Pretty much no one bought one, however, so unsurprisingly, Aston dropped the manual option for the 2013 Virage-inspired facelift. BMW E60 M5. In pretty much every country in the world, you don't get any transmission choice with the E60 M5. Either you have the 5-litre V10 hooked up to a 7-speed SMG gearbox, or you choose another car. Except, of course, if you live in the USA or Canada. Here, buyers were given the option of a 6-speed manual, but it wasn't popular. Just 1,364 manual E60 M5s were built out of around 21,000. BMW F10 M5 Despite switching to a slicker 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox for the F10 generation, the M5 continued to be offered with the option of a 6-speed manual. As with the E60 V10, you had to live in North America to take advantage of a manual F10 M5. However, because demand for manual M5s has dropped year on year, the 4.4-litre V8-powered F10 would be the last M5 to be offered with anything other than an automatic. Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano. Yes, it is possible to enjoy the 612 bhp V12 in the 599 GTB while rowing through a glorious gated manual gearbox, but good luck finding one. The vast majority of 599s were fitted with Ferrari's F1 semi-automatic, with just 30 manuals built worldwide. 20 went to the US, and the other 10 were spread across Europe. Ferrari California. The manual 599 GTB may be a rare beast, but it has nothing on the scarcity of the first generation California's manual population. Ferrari built, drum roll please. Two. Yes, one, two. One of which went to a guy in the UK and the other to a bloke in New Zealand. Unsurprisingly, Ferrari took note of the manual California Savage unpopularity and currently offers the second generation California T as an auto only. Jaguar F-Type The F-Type is another luxury coupe or cabriolet that oozes sex appeal and screams of cool comfort and amazing mile munching manners. It came as a surprise then when Jaguar announced a manual option a couple of years ago. Unfortunately, the manual that we all originally loved the idea of turned out to be imprecise and frustrating. If you want an F-Type then, definitely avoid the manual. Porsche Panamera The idea of a manual Panamera just feels wrong. As a big, wafty saloon, we can't see why you'd want one with three pedals. And yet, a few buyers decided that was exactly what they were after. The six-speed really didn't suit the car, however, which is why Porsche sold next to none of the things in the UK. For that reason, the new Panamera is offered as an automatic only. Porsche KN. Since we're on the subject of aesthetically dubious Porsches with logic-defying three-pedal arrangements, how about the KN? We've managed to find more KN manuals than Panameras, but since we're talking about six out of over 900 up for sale in the UK, the manual KN is still a spectacularly rare thing, and good thing too. What other cars can you think of that had a ridiculously unpopular and relatively unknown manual option? Hit those comments! I'd be sitting in the qualifying queue, ready to go out, and I would feel sick. My heart would feel like it was beating outside of my chest. I'd have the shakes, I'd have everything. But the minute that now I initiate on that first, first run, I'm concentrated solely on where I'm going, what I'm doing, the nerves have gone.